A wonderful morning to all the Red Dead engineers. Welcome back to Sonnet Institute. My name is Bruce Malauti and I'll be your instructor throughout the video course. This is the Red Dead Certificate of Expertise in High Availability Clustering. And this is module two. In this module, I uh, will highlight what we are supposed to uh, to perform. So in this particular module, uh, we are configuring an Apache uh, web server cluster. So in module one, we we configured a cluster that has high availability on a storage. So the storage was being provided by a central server. The <coughs> that server was this server right here. Uh, the IPA server dot example dot com so that server is actually uh, providing the, the storage so before I highlight what we need to do in this module uh, let me walk you through and remind you what we did in module one as well so as I said in module one we configured a, a, a cluster that is two cluster nodes the first node was server one the second node was server two. So these two nodes were sharing a storage that was provided by this central server. So this module we will uh, configure an Apache uh, web server and make sure that the, the web server has high availability and should have failover capability as well. So the web, web server will be configured with a virtual IP. This virtual IP uh, will not belong to any of these nodes. This virtual IP uh, will be configured earlier on in this uh, step. So let me take you through the steps <coughs> uh, slowly but sure. So these are the steps that we will take. In the first step, we will structure the disk partitions. And um, in module one, we created a partition of eight gig, if I recall well. So we will delete that partition and uh, start afresh. So in step number two, we will look at the concept of shoot the other node in the head, also known as fencing. In step number three, or in module 2.3, we will um, add the disk partition to the cluster resources. So as a matter of fact, we'll add the block disk, not the partition. So don't confuse yourself. We are adding the device block, which is the disk block. The partition will be created earlier, uh, later on. So in module 2.4, we will create a partition of 2 gig that will be dedicated to Apache. We will then install and configure Apache. We will then create a virtual IP. Remember, this virtual IP does not belong to any of these uh, nodes. Our virtual IP is 192.168.15.4. So you'll see this IP in the topology. Um, in module 2.7, we will create the Apache directories. In module 2.8, we will add Apache services to the cluster resources. In module 2.9, we will then test the Apache cluster for fail over. So let's get to the uh, Genesis 3 topology and explain further to you. Okay, here in Genesis 3, uh, all the nodes are running. So, uh, this topology was created in module 1. And uh, we did a bit of configurations. This server here, just to walk you through and remind you what we did in module 1. This server here is the iSCSI target. And it has got a storage that is serving to the iSCSI initiators. These two... Uh, machines server 1 and server 2 are configured as iSCSI initiators 
and then they were also uh, configured in the cluster so they are sharing the iSCSI storage and then in this module we are required to create a Apache web server the web server will have a virtual IP which is 192.168.15.44 this virtual IP does not belong to any of these nodes and then I have client systems client 1 and client 2 these client machines will request for Apache uh, resources at this virtual IP so once we configure the Apache web server here and we want to go to the web server we are not going to point to any of these IPs but we will point to the virtual IP so once everything is configured well if server 2 happens to be offline server 1 will continue and the clients will not have issues when trying to reach to the Apache web server because server 1 will be online if server 1 dies and server 2 is online the Apache web services will continue to run and if you want to replace server 1 in case server 1 has an issue we will configure fencing fencing uh, is the concept of removing a dead node or a problematic node offline and replacing with a working one so this is what we need to do and um, I hope you understand how the the, 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 the the topology structured and I hope you understand what we are required to to do as well so without wasting time we will uh, continue with the configurations uh, so basically this is the introduction to module 2 uh, we will we are required to configure the Apache web server that we have high availability and these are the steps that we will take and all the configurations that were done in module 1 we will use them right here and continue where we left so that ASCII storage will be used to store the Apache contents so i'd like to thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye for now